Just spent half an hour modifying this thing. When I first got it, it had the tiny little motors on it. It weighed 11 grams all up weight and it barely flew with the tiny, tiny little motors. I really wanted to put FPV on it. Albert Kim posted a picture of this thing on his Instagram and when I saw it, I immediately ordered two of them with the hopes that I could get FPV on this thing. Now, let's first really quick take a look at the actual plane because it's really interesting what it is. Now, this isn't the first tiny plane in existence. The reason I was really attracted to this little tiny plane is because it doesn't have any servos. It only has two motors. And so you can already tell that it, it flies by differential thrust and the way it goes up and down is just by giving it more throttle. It goes up and then less throttle and it goes down. But let's see how it actually works and how it actually flies real quick. Let's turn it on. All right, so pretty obvious. You throttle up and both props throttle up. But here's what's really interesting. I'm gonna leave it at like a third throttle. Now listen. There's a gyro or accelerometer or something in there that is trying to manage to keep this thing stable. And that's really cool. That, that means there's something going on there. So these are like, I don't even know what they are. They're like 0410 motors. They're like tiny little motors. And this is a 75 milliamp 1S battery in there. The whole thing weighs 11 grams all of weight, which is shockingly low for something like, I mean, it looks like it should weigh more than 11 grams, but this weighs less than two 1103 motors, which, is really surprising to me. Anyways, though it doesn't actually, <laughs> so when you take it out of the box, it doesn't actually fly and it doesn't really make any thrust at all. I mean, those, these motors and props are really tiny. Uh, when you balance it in your fingers, it actually balances in uh, about two thirds back on the wing. So it's really, really tail heavy and it just doesn't fly very well. It really does need a little bit more nose weight to fly well. And if you do add any nose weight at all, it, it doesn't have enough power to keep itself up. So when I ordered this, I ordered a couple of other things as well. So now let's take a look at what I did to it. So again, my goal here is to get like a tiny whoop of planes to be able to fly in a little field. And I do understand that this thing is never gonna fly well because it doesn't have control surfaces and it only has two little motors. It's, it's, it's two channels, it's a two channel plane with just differential thrust and some dihedral on the wing to keep it stabilized as well as an airfoil of some sort to you know do something and the thrust you look at the thrust vector of the actual props or the motors it's actually thrusting up so that it's like pushing down and so that's how it's kind of making things more effective and trying to get you a little bit more of just a lot of stuff going on in this little plane to try to make it fly well but they failed because it just doesn't have enough nose weight if they just slid the battery up forward a little bit more it would probably balance out nicely and would probably fly fine and in no in an, in an area with no wind at all it will fly slowly and very nicely and when you throw it with your hand it sort of glides okay but it kind of just shakes around all right so let's see what i did to it, did to it. <laughs> so so these motors are you can see i've broken the crap out of it as well already too um, so these motors are I think they're 8520 motors so they're like if you look at a size comparison like those are some massive motors <laughs> by comparison and when I ordered these motors with the plane I didn't realize how enormous the motors were going to be <laughs> compared to the stock motors and so I put a um, 300 milliamp so this is the stock battery that it comes with 75 milliamp and this is the battery actually from the the Tiny Hawk 2S it's a 300 milliamp battery, 2S battery, which I took apart and I made it 1S. And I cut out the front nose here and I crammed it in there. And unfortunately, my DVR did not record the maiden flight, but basically it was just too tail heavy. Um, I did try to balance it in the middle or the, the, the front third of the wing, but it was still just too tail heavy. But what I was shocked to find out is that it actually flew. It, it flew. It did not just crash into the ground or just flop flip out in the air it actually flew so i came back home and i adjusted it some more to make it fly a little bit better i cut out more space for the battery compartment and i just slid the battery up forward because i didn't want to add more weight to it and um, of course i put a little fpv whoop camera on there as well and um yeah so um so with motors this big i was expecting to even maybe burn out the control board in there as well um, it's really powerful, really powerful. This is 26.9 grams all up weight. It's, it's 
really freaking powerful. About a third throttle on the throttle. Oh, sorry, let's go back to the other one. About it. Oh, I'll show in a second something else actually. A third throttle on the throttle stick is more than enough. And so, flying this thing FPV um, made me realize a couple of things. First of all, I'm not a plane pilot. I'm not used to flying planes, and I I forgot that it has a wing. And to fly wings, you kind of just need to you need to just surrender control because you just don't have control of the plane. It's not a quad. You don't have absolute control. You get crazy bobbles as you would, as I expected, but it's just not a quad. It, it has wings. And so I forgot that. So it all kind of rushed back to me when I threw the plane and I was like, oh crap, I don't have any control. All I have is throttle to go up and down. And then I have this roll, which doesn't really work properly. And I'll show you what I mean by that. When you are, at zero throttle and you do just a little bit of roll it goes pretty much max throttle it spins up both props because I'm assuming it doesn't want to just do one because it'll then um, the whole thing will roll itself because it'll get like the torque roll from the motors so is trying to like manage it by that by having both of them spin up but when the throttle is down it's the the yaw the, sorry the roll is like an on off there's no there's no pitch and there's no yaw the, the roll is like an on off switch but when you're at just a little bit of throttle, all of a sudden your roll isn't an on-off switch. You actually have differential roll. So that means that I needed to maintain some throttle on this thing to be able to fly it at all, at all. And so, so this is what my second flight looked like by doing this. It, <laughs> this thing is no control at all. But again, this was just a test to see if it worked at all, and it does work. Except that I ended up in a tree because I really don't have any control of this thing, and I was still trying to figure out where the throttle point is, where it'll just sort of cruise a little bit. So then I was like, okay, fine. I need a bigger field. And another thing, I'm not very being very nice to this plane. It is pretty gusty today, and I, I don't really care. I just want to fly. So I just went out to fly it and see what I could do with it. And so, yeah, I went out to a field and I threw it, went into the ground, picked it up, threw it again, and somehow, magically, I got it up in the air and it's, it's flying. It's, it's freaking flying. Like this thing with no control, nothing at all, just glued the motors on, threw some big props on there that I had lying around, it was flying. And I could not believe it because I didn't expect this tiny little piece of crap that I threw together to actually be able to fly at all. And so the trick here is to just keep it in the air. And you can see how I have almost no control. I can sort of turn left and right. I can just suggest what I want it to do. But if I floor it left and right, it goes nuts and just wobbles like crazy. It is, again, very windy, very gusty. The wind is consistently blowing in one direction. As you can see me trying to fly into the wind, it doesn't really move. Flying downwind, it moves pretty nicely. But I essentially... For this tiny little plane, I essentially need to feel this big just to keep it in the air. And I was still playing with flying over the parking lot. So yeah, this is, I've spoken a lot about this plane already. And you can see how it flies. And it's really cool that it can fly at all. And I've, like I've said at the beginning, I've always wanted like a tiny whoop of planes. And so now that I know that this is possible, I'm working on some other things that I'm talking to uh, one of the developers of one of these um, flight firmwares to see if I can get something really interesting going. And I hope to have something in the 50, 60 gram range of a tiny whoop style plane that can fly like a little, like a, just like a little tiny plane, like a little park flyer, but it has really good control to it. So yeah, look for that because I'm really excited about this kind of new direction of project. All right, that's it for now. Floss your teeth. Take care. See you later. Bye. Oh, wait. On Wednesday, on, I think this Wednesday, there's going to be a really cool thing that's launching. I'm going to have a video up immediately. I've been working on it for a while. Look for it on Wednesday. Okay, bye.